Welcome back to Luna Basics. In this video, we'll cover Luna's Nudge feature. Nudge is a feature in Luna that lets you quickly move clips, MIDI notes, and more, forward or backwards by a predefined amount. Because the nudge amount can be set to a custom value, this lets you move clips and notes with higher resolution and precision than dragging them with the mouse. Nudge is particularly useful for fixing timing issues in recorded material, or for changing the rhythmic feel of a song by moving certain elements ahead of or behind the beat. To configure Nudge, first open the Edit Workflow, or open the Nudge menu from within the Edit menu and select Settings. Here you can set the Nudge units and amount, which determine how far forward or backward clips and notes are moved. To set the Nudge units, click the Nudge units display and select one of the options from the popover. The available options are Grid, which uses the current grid value set in the Bars and Beats ruler, Beats, which lets you select a note division separate from the current grid value, Time, which lets you select an amount in milliseconds and seconds, Samples, and Ticks. For Beats, Time, Samples, and Ticks, there are a number of preset amounts shown in the popover that can be clicked to quickly set that nudge amount. You can also set a custom amount by clicking on the nudge amount display to the right and typing in a value. If using grid as the nudge units, the nudge amount can be set by changing the grid value from the bars and beats ruler, or with the keyboard shortcuts shift, plus, and minus. Once the nudge amount has been set, you can nudge audio or MIDI clips in the timeline by first selecting the clip, then using the comma and period keys to move the clip left or right. You can also use the arrow buttons in the edit workflow. If multiple clips are selected, they will all be nudged by the same amount. To nudge by the next higher nudge amount, use the M and forward slash keys, or the double arrow buttons in the edit workflow. For example, since I currently have the nudge amount set to quarter notes, using the M and forward slash keys will nudge the clip left or right by a half note. Clips can also be nudged left or right to the next clip boundary using the keyboard shortcuts Control Option Comma and Control Option Period or from the Nudge menu within the Edit menu. These commands are particularly useful for quickly moving clips into position without having to worry about accidentally covering up part of the other clips in the timeline. Note that the whole clip must be selected before it can be nudged. If a selection is made within a clip, the Nudge commands will move the selection area itself, not the clip. If the track view is set to warps, the Nudge commands will move the warp markers within the selected area. If nothing is selected, the nudge commands will move the playhead position. MIDI notes can be nudged in the same way as clips, by first selecting the notes and then using the comma and period keys to nudge by the set nudge amounts, or the forward slash and M keys to nudge by the next higher nudge amount. For example, I can select all of my hi-hats by clicking the corresponding key in the piano roll, then I can nudge them slightly behind the beat using the period key to give my drum pattern a more relaxed feel. Audio and MIDI content can also be nudged within a clip without changing the position of the clip itself by adding the control key to the standard nudge commands. For example, if I select an audio clip and press the period and comma keys while holding down the control key, I can move the waveform around within the clip without moving the boundaries of the clip itself. Note that the clip must have content beyond the clip boundaries for these commands to work. For MIDI clips, these commands can be used to move the full MIDI pattern forward or backward within the clip. That covers the basics of using Luna's Nudge feature. Subscribe to the Universal Audio YouTube channel to stay up to date on the latest tutorial videos, live streams, and more. And be sure to check out the other Luna Basics videos to learn more about the Luna recording system.